Hello and welcome to Hadoop Exam Learning Resources. In this session, we will be discussing regarding our first problem scenario of HDPCD certification. This is for uh, Hortonworks certification. This is for no Java certification. In this, you will be asked scope, scope flume, hive, and pig related questions. So, we'll be covering few of the sessions here. So, in this, like this is the question, uh, problem statement, and this is the step by step solutions for this entire problem. Okay, then whatever data you need to copy for this uh, complete this exercise you can copy it from this section here okay and this uh, like we will be publishing this video on this URL as well so you can get the uh, entire list of uh, so this uh, mid practice scenarios video you can get it and other material related uh, link we have provided here so this is like data part we can get when while doing the exercise so in this exercise what they are asking you have give, be given a csv file which contains employee and salary data you need to accomplish the following okay so load this file in hdfs first oh, so what happens here like we will be creating data our own uh, like but during the exam you will be provided by the data and you don't have to create the data kind of thing so just uh, here to create our problem statement and work on the sandbox we might have to create the data so and create two tables in mysql named employee and salary once file in hdfs load in rdbms so this is like uh, we will be using data copying from hdfs to the rdbms so like uh, uh, we will be using scope tool and this is the export command correct so if you want to understand more about the scope just you can uh, uh, go for our Hadoop professional training actually this is uh, just go here and uh, how to pick data training here in the related to scope we have given so much uh, detail about the scope uh, tutorials are given so training is given a lot of materials even related to scope have been given so you can use it so this is scope export command we have to do once data is loaded in mysql tables import back to the hdfs using the scope so this is like practicing import and export using the scope tool so this is the first uh, things in the their uh, hortonworks certification they are asking like scope can you should be comfortable working with the scope so let's do this exercise okay so what i have taken you cannot copy this section okay this section is intentionally not to be able to make you copy you have to type in command which is required so you learn it better because the in the real exam you if you have to remember the commands uh, else you can they will provide the documentation but the speed is very much matter in the real exam so you have to remember the command you should be very comfortable with writing the commands whichever needed so that's the reason uh, we are not providing any uh, copy paste capability from this sections you have to uh, type in your own and only data which is like uh, not need to be type is provided in this section and you can just uh, select this and control plus C use control C and you can just copy this data okay so uh, to make this video shorter I have copied this text uh, this uh, uh, scenario in edit plus so this video would be short for me to explain you otherwise if I will type the command here then it video would become very slower and more not more interesting so what they are saying create a CSV file in local file system first to solve this problem okay so and we will be creating the CSV file under this directory okay so just go to the putty and uh, open the putty sessions uh, again this is the putty session just double click on this so just username is root password is quick takey we have already done this all setup in our previous sessions so I hope you have already gone through this not otherwise go for the sessions okay this is the third and fourth session so in the root directory we are creating the MacDR so just PWD command you can see this is the sorry PWD current uh, path for your working directory would be uh, provided here so just go to the Hadoop exam which we have right now created and you can see this directory is empty now what they are saying create the files in this directory this is the file so I'll create the employee.csv file here just use vi editor just and in insert press I to insert the data insert and then copy employee data here from this and just escape colon w q is to save the file and you are out of there similarly uh, you create the salary.csv file okay so that is very simple syntax to create the file this is not part of the exam anyway so we are just but you should be comfortable with vi editor as well insert just press i to insert the data and then 
wq to save the data now we have created both the files you can just check here both the files is available now what we have to do we have to upload this file to hdfs so first what we are going to do this we have to we are we, we see the root user is not there uh, like we are we're going to work everything as a root user so what we have we need to do is like uh, we need to create the root user directory as well under the user so let me go through first ambari view actually uh, this is hortonworks sandbox url once a local book uh, so once is uh, so hortonworks is started sandbox is started like this you can see this is the ip address and port is provided just click here enter to uh, ambari and in the ambari we will be using password admin as a user and password as an admin so just login in and uh, you should be able to log in okay so now um, y you see here like uh, you sh must have created so as like gone through the previous session as well before coming here okay so now here are the views actually so we will go to the file view so uh, it file view shows the all the hdfs files in this uh, sandboxes directories would be listed here so just uh, get here you can see these are the directory if i click on the user we have various user for the admin user hbase user hcat hive user and root user okay root user is already there so what we are going to do this uh, if it is already there then we should have not created this okay oh, user root okay it is already there so it should give us the error if we create let me check mm. just in terminal type this user root okay file is already accessed okay so we don't have to create it user this already there so we can ignore this step actually if we have already or we can just uh, uh, just list the root user and we should see some file if there is anything so we can see there is a dot hive jars are there already in place okay so now uh, we will create a un module one directory okay this is like uh, we will be uh, doing this exercise you it's better you organize your work so that's the reason we will be creating the directory so this is the HD Hadoop FS hyphen mkdir this is like a normal unix command similar to uh, then module one will be created so if we don't provide anything like where it should be created so it by default it would be created under the root user directory because we are under the root user here in this unix so it would be creating the directory here so let's see uh, okay now go to the ambari ui mm, and see like uh, this directory under the root user have been created or not if you see the root user sorry okay the module one has been created here and this is the honor of the and this is hdfs is the group right now no worry about this let's move here okay sorry next uh, if you uh, ls this directory you should see the uh, this Hadoop FS minus LS it will list the content in this, this directory so it would show the module 1 and hive jars would be created now just copy the employee.csv file and salary.csv file under this module 1 directory so this is put is the command to copy the data from HDFS to the uh, 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 Hadoop you can use Hadoop DFS hyphen uh, put command or you can use hdfs dfs so this is alternate way better is uh, you use the hadoop because hdfs command has been deprecated so you should use the hadoop command actually rather than this okay so now we have copied this data now let's uh, list this the content of the module one hdfs dfs hyphen ls module one so you you should be able to see this two files okay so these are the two files have been copied and you can just cat one of the file like whether it has been copied or not so you always verify during the exam as well whatever you have done is uh, already being successfully done or not now just uh, log in this mysql db okay uh, this is the we are already logged in so just let me quit first and login here okay what they are saying now create a table employee in this okay because we are going to export the data in the mysql db correct so we will be creating the employee table similarly uh, we will be creating the salary table so 
we have created in MySQL and we can see show tables now so this two tables employee and salary also created as part of this okay now one, once the files in HDFS using the scope create tables as well as load the data in it first we will see the list tables command it's uh, just a list uh, commands like this is the JDBC URL this is the connect string this you will be using to connect to the uh, uh, Hadoop exam DB1 database in which we have created table this is the username and this is the password correct and this is the list of the tables it will list all the tables so you have to uh, run this exercise on this uh, terminal not you don't have to log in in the mysql or something a scope is a part of the sandbox tool so it will take some time so it will list it all the tables which we have now what we are going to do this we have to load data from the csv file to uh, in mysql database table correct so uh, like let me draw the diagram first then i'll show you so now here you can see like this is the employee.csv file and salary.csv file is under the HDFS file system. Now what we wanted it like this copy this data employee.csv file salary.csv file to RDBMS database. So this is known as export. Okay so this uh, this path is known as export. We are loading data from HDFS to the RDBMS database. So we will be loading this data into employee table and salary table. Okay so this is the scope command we will be using here okay so if i say this is the scope and it is known as scope export we are exporting data from hdfs to the rdbms this is connect using the jdbc string that we need it okay this is the port this is host and this is the database name okay we need to have a database name here as part of jdbc string and this is the in which database we want to insert and what is the username to log into this database what is the password to this login to database what is the name of the table in this we want to call copy this so this is the employee table okay and this is the direct uh, is a, another way of directly copying this so you can understand more about the syntax okay and what is the directory name here is the from where we want to read the data so export directories employee.csv file you can provide directory itself only or you can if you provide only module one then there are two files so we what we will do we will explicitly provide uh, which files we wanted to load and hyphen m1 equals to number of mappers like uh, you know like a scoop uses map reduce framework to load the data from uh, HDFS to uh, RDBMS or IR vice versa RDBMS to uh, HDFS file system so there is a number of mappers you can define if you don't provide number of mappers then by default it will use four mappers why I am providing here single mappers just to show you the syntax how can you control the number of mappers in the while working in the, your real time because sometimes system slow or sometimes if you want to use more mappers or kind of thing so we'll be using this syntax here just let's run it you don't have to do login anywhere just scoop command is installed by default on the sandbox we don't have to do any setup for the scoop and it will see you can see this here it will use the select command to it will employ data and kind of thing it will create uh, this all information and it will run this okay so it will take some times to get data to be exported okay we, we have fresh installation of the sandbox so it should be a clean uh, work there should not be existing data kind of thing there shouldn't be any problem even you can run parallelly on the different terminal if you want uh, to load the salary table but I would suggest do one by one activity so in the real exam as well you keep track and what's most important thing is like just keep 15 minute saved yourself for the at the last time review of the exam because very common problem is in the exam is people spend a lot of time on solving the problem and at last they don't have review their tables okay so now this is employee table has been exported now run the salary table command so this very same same command just name of the table is changed and the file path is changed otherwise everything will remain same now once that this data has been loaded we will go to this database uh, which we have already uh, logged in I believe so this is we have already logged in show tables tables were already there so nothing special here so just select star from employee table and limit record to 10 only if you see we have our data already loaded in employee table from uh, this uh, HDFS to RDBMS. Now similarly from the salary table we'll check if it is, has been 
star from salary okay so data from the salary has already been imported uh, sorry exported from HDFS to uh, this now uh, we have to do the similar exercise on the other way round so now a scope uh, sometimes create a problem with the existing jars actually so what is mysql jar sometimes is not uh, a latest one and it would create a problem so what i will do is actually first change the mysql jar so this is the sandbox uh, has uh, some little problem with this existing mysql so we'll just search for the mysql jar so here you can see there are two mysql jars available 5.1.17 and 5.1.37 and right now we are pointing to like mysql connector jar is de by default connecting to 5.1.17 so that is not correct version we should connect to the latest version else we had uh, some problem so that is very important step you've complete this so we will just unlink this this is the unix command actually so unlink uh, if we unlink then we if uh, again we will ls minus ltr so you don't see this command right now correct this link is not there this is the soft link now create the soft link which 5.1.37 so this is latest mysql jar this is very important step uh, you should be uh, seeing here now you can see this is now we are pointing to the latest jar okay now uh, we have seen it now we will import the data from rdbms to the hdfs and we will create data into the module one under the export export directory okay so this directory right now does not exist here if you go here we don't have this directory already exist here okay just click the refresh we have staging directory created just because of uh, this import export okay right now leave it and uh, now just run the uh, same command this is import command this is the connection string this is username password warehouse directory so warehouse directory means in which directory we want to save the data we will read data from the employee table and split by id okay if, if our table doesn't have primary key then we have to provide the like which column should be used as a primary key while importing the uh, data from the scope so this is very important uh, important command you if your table does not have primary key so we are going to provide like which column you should use as a primary key okay so just number of mappers equal to one still okay just run this command here and um, we'll see this t uh, directory should have been created here once the data has been exported uh, now next after that we will run this command okay now you can see this framework uses the map reduce framework correct so map is zero percent is done reduce um, uh, then this hundred percent is done kind of thing this is has been completed now just go here and we should see the directory should have been created module one dot export and in this employee directory has been created each so corresponding to each table one directory would be created success means underscore success means this import has been successfully done and if you click uh, this and open this uh, file you should be able to see the data here okay so whatever in the table okay and we have not yet exported our uh, that uh, uh, salary table so just copy this command and uh, do the same activities for the salary table on this terminal okay so it will run for the salary table as well same thing okay so our salary table is also imported uh, imported from this uh, rdbms so just refresh this and we have here our salary directory as well and this content uh, we can see open it and you can see the content here so uh, that's all about this exercise and you can use the hdfs command as well to like just to list this like things have been created or not. so whenever you do exercises so you verify your result before completing anything so same directory structure which we have seen in the ambari ui file view we can see here you can use the cat command to list the data as well like the data have been um, copied and you can see this data as an output of the cat command so this is just hdfs dfs hyphen cat and this is the end path for the or first partitions like there is a single file have been created because we have used single mapper here so that's the reason one file is created so thanks thanks for watching and uh, if you are watching on youtube don't forget to subscribe it and this is the uh, simulator where from where you can get the complete uh, uh, sorry entire version of this simulator the 74 problem scenarios we will be adding few more scenarios soon in this uh, uh, simulator 
so you it would be like uh, helpful for you to prepare for the hotel work certification thanks thanks for watching and if you're watching on youtube don't forget to subscribe it and uh, if you like this session just give thumbs up thank you